November is National Diabetes Month, and today OU Health is hosting an informational session to raise awareness this evening. And joining us at the table to share his insight is Dr. Jed Friedman, OU Health's director of the Harold Ham Diabetes Center. Thanks so much for joining us today. Pleasure to be here. Well, diabetes affects millions of people, and some may not even realize that they have it. Can you just kind of run down some of those uh, maybe early warning signs that things may not be right? Yeah, well, we have a big problem in Oklahoma. It's one of the top five states for diabetes. Diabetes. And mm -hmm. diabetes uh, is probably 95% the adult onset form. And what drives that is body weight. So changes in weight, uh, changes in appetite, changes in uh, frequency of thirst, things that, and lethargic, things that drive you to the doctor will probably get you checked out. And we know that probably one third, unfortunately, of mm -hmm. Oklahomans have pre diabetes. Yes. So what we're really interested in Harold Ham Diabetes Center is stopping that, the intervention steps. What's the earliest things that we can do? And that's what t this afternoon's uh, open forum will be. It's about that first thousand days that I'd like to talk to you about. Uh, my family actually just went through this. My dad uh, was pre-diabetic. He said, what the heck does pre-diabetic mean? And he kind of got on a, a good path where he lost a lot of weight, changed some things, and it didn't cross the line into diabetes. What are some of the most common questions you're getting from Oklahomans about diabetes? Yeah, we, we, we want to know what causes it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some genetics involved, uh, but it, it's a lifestyle disease. So you put the, the poor diet, the lack of exercise, uh, increased age and so forth on top of uh, our risk and, and that's really what's driving the epidemic I think but what we're concerned about is one in five children mm. already have obesity oh my so goodness. and it's very hard to return once you're there and you go through teenage years and then as we gain weight uh, and and increase our risk we, we'd like to kind of stop it where it starts what about the risks? Because yeah. you talk about young people and, you know, so many people you hear about, they do change your diet like you were talking about with your dad, but, you know, some people might not even have the information to know that that could be a game changer for them. Right. That's kind of what the forum is this afternoon is, is to talk about uh, healthy nutrition and choices that we can make. Because uh, you're right, it is about uh, getting the right information. But uh, we know that obesity actually is a disease. It's, it's really... You know, some things are within your control, uh, your exercise and what you eat, but a lot of things are not. So, so what we'd like to do is to point out to, to people what it is they can do uh, to actually change their, their habits, their lifestyle, and as you say, either roll back the clock or try and prevent that, that mm -hmm. uh, disease progression. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the forum real quickly, who can come and who all will be there? Right, so we have, a, uh, it's called a Community Conversation, mm -hmm. sponsored by OU Health. Uh, and it's a really great opportunity to bring together people uh, from the community, from the Healthy Food Bank, from uh, not just scientists, but also people who actually see uh, patients. We have something called Food is Medicine, so we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, and we'll also talk about, as you say, what those lifestyle interventions are that can actually slow down the disease, particularly in that first thousand and days. And it starts at 6 o'clock tonight. Bet. Dr. Right. Jed Friedman, thanks so much for your insight today and being here Appreciate with us. It. All right, thank you, ladies. Thanks for All having right. us in the new studio, too. Yes. Yeah, that was a lot of fun.